Uh, hi, in this video, we introduce how to uh, flash Cortex firmware on your hotspot so your hotspot can uh, install flash mining apps to get multiple crypto mining uh, rewards. So uh, except support Cortex uh, hotspots, flash mining also support other brands Helium hotspots. Uh, like in this menu, uh, we listed like a uh, sense cup rack mntd so all these models we have tested and uh, so the customer can flash cortex firmware on these hotspot models and then add these hotspots into cortex uh, cloud service to get uh, flex mining apps being installed so at first you prepare your hotspots and uh, prepare a, a new micro sd card and uh, we suggest you uh, use a new car so you can save previous one uh, just in case you have to restore your hotspot into original uh, work firmware. So use a new uh, micro SD card and uh, flash new <clears throat> flash codex firmware in this car and insert into your hotspot, reboot it, let your hotspot run in Cortex firmware. Then in your Wi-Fi or LAN environment, you open Cortex Hotspot Web Management, which is a, a local uh, management dashboard for Cortex uh, Hotspots and uh, for any hotspot who flashed Cortex firmware. Then in this uh, Hotspot Web Management, you can uh, fine tune your uh, working frequency and uh, you can get your gateway ID and uh, Helium address. Then you open Cortex Hotspot Cloud Service, which is our cloud portal. You add your hotspot into this cloud service. Then you can manage and install different flex mining apps uh, through this cloud portal. So anything can be managed remotely in this cloud portal. You don't have to uh, specifically access each individual uh, hotspot in, in LAN environment. Uh, this will be very handy if you have multiple hotspots being installed in different locations. And then you have to pay a uh, flex mining fee. You can pay all at once by uh, purchasing flex mining package. Uh, we have different packages you can choose, uh, or you can choose uh, different flex mining app one by one. Yeah, like uh, you choose one app, pay for one app, and install for one app. So anyway, you have to pay for it. And uh, uh, in the... Uh, Cortex Hotspot Cloud Service, you can install and manage them. And finally, you can check your rewards uh, by different uh, e e uh, crypto wallets. You can check your rewards. So by flashing uh, Cortex firmware on your hotspot, uh, Cortex provide you software and uh, uh, upgrade for your uh, software and uh, firmware, but we don't provide a uh, hardware maintenance services for, for the other brands hotspot. So you still have to check with the uh, original hardware vendor to get the hardware maintenance. So uh, let's show you a quick demo. So, so uh, as I mentioned, please uh, uh, keep your original SD card safe just in case uh, you have to uh, refresh back to your original hotspot firmware. So uh, the first step is let's prepare the uh, flash mining. Uh, sorry, to prepare your uh, micro SD card and uh, to install install the uh, uh, firmware on your micro SD card. And this is the this is the uh, Here's the download link. Here's a download link. Here's a download link in our menu. So you can just click this menu to uh, open the uh, all these uh, firmware files. You can feel free to download them. Flash, Flash Cortex firmware is free. So you can choose your uh, hotspot model and uh, download the uh, firmware file. It's a, a zipped file. The size is about a 1.8 gigabyte. In this example, we're choosing a Panther, Panther X1. Um, <clears throat> so you choose the, the folder and the download the file. And uh, at the same time, you can download a Raspberry Pi Emerger. And this, uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi Emerger 
uh, software, you can download and uh, by this link, download and install in your PC. This software will help you to prepare your uh, SD card, write the new Cortex firmware into your SD card. So you download and install it. Here's the, the formula we download. It's uh, for uh, uh, Panther X1. And uh, you can see this zip file. You unzip it, you can see the actual image file is 6.2 gigabyte. Then you open this, uh, open this uh, uh, Raspberry Pi imager, which help you to flash the firmware. So you're choosing, when you're choosing the, uh, SD card, you choose uh, the, the card you insert in the card reader. That's the uh, test card we insert into the card reader, which connect to uh, the laptop, and then select the card. Then in the first button, uh, operating system, you're choosing uh, erase. You're cho cho choosing erase, basically uh, it's format everything and format the SD card into FAT32 format and then you choose erase and the system uh, ask you are you, com are you confirm yes and it will format your uh, sd card this is just to, uh, to prepare your sd card to be ready to uh, flash the firmware after this step uh it just tell you uh the uh, format is done and then you second step is still choosing uh this card and because it's already been format so this time when, when you're choosing the first button, you're choosing custom uh, image. That means you're gonna use a customized uh, firmware image to write into the SD card. Then uh, select the image file you download. In our case, it's a uh, uh, Panther X1. Then select write. The system is gonna write the new firmware into the SD card. And when everything's done, the new micro SD card already be uh, flashed into Cortex format, then you just confirm. And now you can eject this SD card and insert into your hotspot. Then next you have to uh, open your open your uh, Wi-Fi router admin portal. In your in this case, we open the Wi-Fi router. Uh, Admin portal, you can check your mic, uh, your hotspot's MAC address. Based on your hotspot's MAC address, you find which IP address is using uh, for your hotspot. Because uh, Wi Fi router sometimes using DHCP to automatically assign a, a local IP address for your hotspot. So you using the MAC address to find out your actual IP address being used for your hotspot. In this case, it's a 52, a 54. And uh, now you can input your uh, Hotspot's IP address in web browser and open Hotspot Web Management. Hotspot Web Management is a local management dashboard to manage your uh, Hotspot in, in LAN and Wi-Fi environment. Uh, if this is the very first time you log into your Hotspot Web Management, the username is admin. And the password will be your hotspot's MAC address file, uh, last six digit. This is uh, your hotspot's MAC address. Last six digit will be your uh, initial password for hotspot web management. It's uh, in this case, it's D377F8. So you just put that password here. Last six digit of your MAC address and login. Yeah, login. So this is the uh, your hotspots uh, web management dashboard. And now we change the uh, frequency of this hotspot. This is because the firmware uh, we provided always let the hotspot running on frequency EUA6U. So your hotspot may be in some other regions or countries. So you must change the uh, frequency to let it work in your area. So you can just open the LoRa networks and channel plan and uh, select your plan here in this uh, drop-down menu. 
uh, and then confirm that's it. So everything can be done very quickly because this frequency changing is all done in online. So you don't have to reboot the passport to do that. And to finish the frequency change, uh, please go back to uh, dashboard. So in, in dashboard, uh, you can see gateway ID, gateway ID and uh, the hotspot address. Since now uh, you flashed Cortex firmware, so we will treat this one as a, a special version of a Cortex hotspot. So uh, we assign a gateway ID. You, 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 you can get these two information. This, these two information, gateway ID and address will be used to add your hotspot into uh, Cortex Cloud a cloud portal. Okay, so now let's open the um, cloud portal. The, the cloud portal address is uh, codex-sg.io. So you open the cloud portal and uh, uh, if you don't have an account, you can sign up a new account. Uh, or you can just log in here and uh, so once you log in uh, Cloud, uh, Codex, Codex Hotspot Cloud Service, uh, you can create your uh, wallet space in dashboard. Uh, wallet space is, uh, is, uh, is kind of a container to help you to uh, manage multiple hotspots. Uh, different brands, different types of hotspots can be added into one water space. And then you can go to hotspot tab. And here you can add, you can add different hotspots into your water space. And in this case, the water space is Cortex test. And let's add our test hotspot into this uh, water space. You can see there was already uh, one Cortex hotspot already being added into this uh, water space. So let's click the add and uh, when you're choosing Maker, you can choose uh, Panther in this case. The model, we choose VX1 because we support Panther X1. And uh, now we need to provide a gateway ID and a hotspot address. Uh, we can grab these two fields from the uh, hotspot uh, web management here in the dashboard. Gateway ID and address. We just click the button and copy this information and paste into the cloud portal. That'll be fine. Then click the add. Then this hotspot will be add into uh, into the cloud portal. So you can see Panther X one already be added into this wallet space. And uh, when you just add this hotspot into your wallet space, if you check the firmware, you can see the firmware is still unknown because uh system needs some time to upgrade automatically upgrade the hotspots firmware to the latest version see this one this is the latest version of firmware from time to time Cortex will uh, force your uh, hotspot to refresh new firmware because we have to uh, keep on upgrade your system so once you can see the firmware version here that means your hotspot is ready to install flex mining apps so if you go back to here, you can see the Flex Mining apps. We have a, a list of Flex Mining apps. Uh, you have two choice to, to pay for these apps. Uh, we only charge uh, a small amount of um, service fee, Flex Mining service fee for these apps to be installed in your hotspot. Uh, because we, uh, from time to time, we can uh, upgrade your apps. And uh, we also provide a status. You can click the uh, hotspot name to open uh, hotspot detail page to check flex mining apps running status uh, resources consumption all this information can be seen on through this uh, uh, this cloud portal so we provide this kind of services so we charge you a, a small amount of uh, service fee and uh, you can click uh, this little shopping cart icon here to open a payment page to pay specifically for this app or you can go to uh, Cortex store. You can go to Cortex store here, uh, click Flex Mining and choosing uh, the Flex Mining package for your, uh, it's like a Flex Mining package for your uh, Cortex hotspot or for other brands hotspot. 
or Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna support different hardwares uh, for uh, flex mining. So you can choose either choosing directly pay specific apps here by clicking this shopping cart icon, or you can choose uh, go to uh, Cortex store, which is a cortex-store.com and pay the package. Once you pay the package, all these apps will be enabled for you. You can freely install any one of them and uh, in the whole year because Flex Mining package is for a one year service package. So you can just in install any of them on your hotspot and uh, for, for a whole year. And even new released apps will be automatically included in your package. So that's, uh, that's the, the process to uh, flash your to flash your um, firmware, uh, flash the Cortex firmware on your hotspot and uh, uh, add your hotspot into cloud service, then install the Flex Mining apps. Uh, that's all the process. Thank you.